fiscal cliff just over a month ago before everyone's taxes go up. Both sides set to meet with business leaders this week. The president's going to take his campaign on the road, too, as more Republicans appear willing to bend on their no new taxes pledge. ABC's John Carl is covering all the maneuvers in Washington. John, even though the president has been calling congressional leaders, they haven't made enough progress for another face-to-face -face negotiation. That's right, George. There is no face-to-face -face meeting even scheduled now between the president and congressional leaders. But I can tell you that high-level talks with staff are intensifying with time running out. And Republicans are expressing a newfound willingness to compromise on that long-standing Republican pledge never to raise taxes. The pledge was designed... Meet the anti-tax enforcer, the man behind the pledge, Grover so Norquist. Republicans who vote for a tax increase are rat heads in a Coke bottle. They damaged the brand for everyone else. Ronald Reagan unveiled Norquist's first pledge in the mid-1980s. And over the last two decades, virtually no Republican has been elected without signing that no tax increase pledge. Now, how many of these things have been signed? Pledges? Yes. Thousands over the years. He keeps them all on file. Here's John Boehner's pledge signed 20 years ago. If somebody signed this 10 years ago, or 18 years ago, 20 years ago, are they still bound by it? No. When you got married, did your wife understand there was an expiration date on that promise? And Norquist has consistently warned that anyone who violates the pledge is doomed. It is difficult to imagine somebody winning a primary without taking the pledge. But with the so-called fiscal cliff just months away and a re-elected Barack Obama insisting that tax increases must be part of any budget deal, key Republicans are now talking about ditching the pledge. I'm not uh, obligated on the pledge. I will violate the pledge, long story short, for the good of the country, only if Democrats will do entitlement reform. But George, even Republicans who say they are willing to violate the pledge say they will only do so by closing loopholes, not by doing what the president wants to do, which is raising tax rates. So the side's still pretty far apart. Meanwhile, we, we heard about Susan Rice, the U.N. ambassador, going up to Capitol Hill today to meet with many of her critics as the president contemplates whether to appoint her as secretary of state. And it does appear that some of those critics, at least, like Senator John McCain, are softening their opposition just a bit just a bit and she is going to go right into the lion's den. She is meeting not just with John McCain but also with Lindsey Graham. Both have said point blank that they would do anything in their power to stop her nomination but with this meeting coming up they have softened that a bit although George far short of saying they would ever support her for Secretary of State. Not saying they're going to vote for her. Okay John Carl thanks very much.